Hello and welcome back to our next tip kit video. Today we will talk about how you can configure your tips, for example to have more control over them, uh, how often you would uh, show them and how you can say that you don't need to show this tip anymore. So stay tuned for this video, let's start. As you can see that's the same example we uh, started to implement last time, so just a short repetition. Um, we have a small app, a country list, um, where we can add countries, delete countries, and so on. And uh, for the moment, we have uh, configured one tip. So let's reset the data store so we can see it. So let's build, rebuild it. And as you can see, when the uh, app starts, uh, we directly see a tip, the one we created last time for create country, where uh, it says tap on the plus button to add more countries. So now we can do that. So when I tap the plus button, I get some countries added and I also can remove them. So swipe to delete and yeah, and I can re-add new ones. So that's the basic uh, example we have at the moment. And um, now I want to add more tips to it. So for example, we could uh, use a tip where we tell the user that, that he also can delete the entries, not only add it them so we probably need a tip to show the feature for swipe to delete so for that we uh, create a new tip and i would uh, call it delete tip and it's a tip um, so basically now we can add the same thing like above so we can add the title and we say um swipe actions and then we have a message and there we can say um swipe a country country to country to delete it and yeah we also use an image so image, and we could say we use the system name one, and we use uh, end point up left. Yeah. So that's the basic configuration for the tip. I can remove the reset data store, and now we have uh, different possibilities. So the first type of configuration we could do is a uh, event based tip. For that, we need um, an event. So I would add a static let um, delete event. And that's an event with an ID. And the ID, we use delete event. So now we added an event. And with that event, we can count how many times the event happened. So uh, let's configure the complete tip so we can use it. So we say drive delete, delete, but delete. Tip. So I delete tip. We initialize it and then we need to configure all the things. And now the question is where do we want to trigger the event? So for example, let's see, we have somewhere the on delete um, closure for the list. And now the idea is to show the user that he can swipe the country. But what should we do when the user already knows it by himself? We could say when a swipe to delete happens, then we say, okay, we don't need a tip anymore. And we um, invalidate it. So we can say delete tip. Point invalidate and the reason is um, it's action performed so basically that's the reason when the user performed the action the intended action so that's the invalidation of it and now we need to add the tip to the ui and we could say okay for the hint we could use the list and we say before the uh, for each we just say we have a tip view and our tip is uh, deleted. 
So let's test it. So as you can see directly when the app appears, it shows the swipe actions, the tip, which we want to show, but we don't want to show it directly. So we have to do some additional configurations for the, for the tip itself. And um, therefore we can define rules. So um, there's also a rules param and uh, we can add an array of rule. So let's do it. And um, what else do we have? So we can add a rule. We have some kind of uh, parameters we want to add. So as you can see, we, ha we have a rule with an event or a rule with a parameter. And this one we use, we are using just now is that one with the event. So we pick that one and we say uh, self.delete event. That's the event we want to listen to. And this and this and we get in the, into the closure we get the event itself and then we can do things with it so we can say when the event dot donations that's the counter how many times uh, we donated to the event so we could say if the count greater than equal for example with that we are saying that this should be only shown when this all the rules are, uh, are true. So we restart the app. And as you can see, the thing isn't shown. And now we could add our uh, countries as before. And you notice that the tip isn't shown because we don't add something to the donations. So now we have to think about um, which event triggers the donation stuff and we could say every time we add a country for example we could uh, donate to that event so let's pick the button in the top trailing navigation bar and here is list appending a new country counter is also increasing and here we could say delete tip and because it's a static variable um, I say delete event wrong uh, donate um, and it's an async thingy, so we have to do a wait and we have to wrap it into a task, get an async run as context. So with that, every time we, we add a new country, we donate to the event, and then the rule triggers when we add the second country. So let's, let's see. So let's reset the data store and start a, a preview once again to check if it's working. So on to or and it's not working now it's working it's too many and uh, let's check the code um, if a random element contains uh, and of course we just do it on the else case um, that's the wrong position so every time the button is pressed we want to donate to the delete event so now it should should be working so let's start over refresh the preview country as expected and then I add one country nothing happens I add a second country and now because we added greater than one um, the swipe action is displayed and yeah the delete tip we invalidate when the on delete is performed so either way when I close it via the X or when I swipe the thing uh, the, the country then the tip should go away exactly and when I re-add it it shouldn't appear anymore. So let's not reset the data store and start new. So it should be aware of that the tip already was presented and shouldn't be presented anymore. That's working. And that's how you use TipKit with event-based tips. And next time we will have a look at a parameter-based tip. So stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.